Hello, this is Watch All About with another watch review and in this review we're looking at a watch brand by two chaps in Switzerland, Mr. Bastian, Mr. Anthony and guess what? The name of the watch brand is Bastian Anthony. So this is the Turbulent, so let's start the unboxing process. So we have this outer sleeve with this inner wooden box. This is really nicely uh, engraved here, nice and deep. Open her up and here we have the watch itself. So at the back here we have a little, if I can fucking grab it. Nice little guarantee card. Oh, a nice little uh, QR code for the owner's manual. It's a very good idea, actually. And we have the watch itself. Little tag, which I've, I've taken off. But obviously, that will come attached to the watch when you receive it. And the cushion slips in nicely. And here we have the watch in question. So let me just move that out of the way. Nice uh, compact box, but nice finishing, nice quality to it but easy to store, which is a good thing. So this is the Turbulence, and as you can see, it's sort of a dress watch, but certainly one with an aggressive edge to it. Um, we'll discuss it in greater detail. So first of all, starting with the price, um, it is fully Swiss made, Swiss made automatic. So uh, pretty competitive. The RRP is 949 euros, which equates to about 810 pounds. If you're oh, outside of the uh, if you're outside of Europe, you can get it for $930 because that is uh, without VAT or tax. However, there is a code WIAA10, which will get you 10% off. So with that 10% code for Watch All About readers, it makes it 855 euros, about 730 pounds or $837. So, you know, price point is really, really good for a Swiss made automatic. Um, you know, hard, you can't, can't deny that. So let's have a look at the Turbulent in closer detail. So let's start off by discussing the specs. So I have a seven and a quarter inch wrist for reference. Size wise, it is on the large side. I'm not gonna deny it, 45 mil in diameter. Height, however, is you know pretty reasonable, 11.1 .1 height. So that's a you know, pretty regular height for a, for a chunkier watch. Um, and a lug-to-lug -lug length is actually shorter than you'd imagine, 51 mil. And that's because the lugs, as you can see, have a flat top. They've sort of like been cho chopped off. So that's good because despite the 45 mil diameter size, it actually wears a lot smaller because of the short dumpy lugs, which is a, a great positive, a great plus. Weight-wise, 120 grams. So it certainly feels decent, solid on the wrist. It's not too crazy heavy though, but you know, 120 grams for a watch on a leather strap is actually you know, quite a quite a heavy weight. Water resistance is five atmospheres or 50 meters. Nothing too amazing there. However, you know, it's, it's a slightly smarter watch really. It's not a diving watch, so don't take it underwater, but it does have a measure of protection there should you accidentally uh, drop it. 22 mil lug width, which is obviously a perfectly uh, reasonable size for the 45 mil diameter case. And you get a two year warranty. And the movement is a Solita SW200-1 automatic movement with the open balance wheel there at 12. This one in particular is coming in at minus 3.5 seconds a day. So, uh, you know, pretty well regulated as well. That's within COSC specs. So no complaints there whatsoever. And in fact, you know, it's really good to show that they've put the time and effort into regulating it that accurate. So let's discuss it in closer detail, starting off with the dial. So this one is called the anthracite dial with a nice sunburst effect. And as you can see, um, it has quite a, a variety of reflections based on the angle. You can see the uh, sun ray effect working there nicely, depending on the angle we've got. All of these uh, different elements are fully polished as well on the dial. So all of the hour markers are applied. The uh, hands are fully polished as well. So you do get a really, really nice array of reflections. Also the, uh, the border around the uh, open heart window is also applied polished uh, steel. So very, very nice finishing to the dial. You know, it's really, really faultless. And, uh, you know, talking about the design of the dial, obviously one of the key, um, key factors design-wise is this open heart at 12. I also really like the inclusion of a zero instead of a 12. I think that balances it really, really nicely. Um, and it's just something a little bit different. In, in fact, the entire watch is something a little bit different, which is which really, really calls out to me, you know, um, because we've had so many watches of a similar sort of ilk recently. And uh, I think this one really just stands out from the crowd. So let me just take it off and we'll have a look in closer detail. 
so I mentioned the uh, the anthracite anthracite um, sunray basis. You can see there, very nice. I have a, a very gentle texture to it as well. But then all of these hour markers, if I get it sort of on an angle, you can see the depth there. Really, really nicely manufactured. No complaints whatsoever. And uh, framing the dial, we have this um, very shallow rehout. Um, which frames it nicely with a printed uh, minute track. And as you can see, um, despite it being a 45 mil diameter case, you know, we only have about a two mil edge around the outside. So really it is almost all dial, which really creates a, a visually stunning impression when you're looking at the watch, you know, all dial, uh, this beautiful reflective kind of um, uh, sun ray effect really does catch your eye. So uh, they've done a really good job on that. Um, you can see there the border on the open heart as well matches the depth and quality of the hour markers. Print works all really nice and fine. You know, we only really have the Bastion Anthony logo at the bottom half. Obviously, usually it'll be there, but we can't because of the open heart um, window and then Swiss made at the bottom as well. I like the hands, you know, something a little bit different, a little bit chunkier uh, and um, easy to read as well. The counterweight on the second hand is a lovely, lovely little um, piece of engineering as well. You can see it's got the Bastion Anthony uh, logo, very delicately done, but very accurately done as well. So uh, in reality, you know, the, the finishing of this dial is really, really magnificent. Um, and yes, of course it is on the slightly higher side of, of things in terms of price, but I still think it's very, very good and a competitive price for what you are getting. Moving on to the uh, case itself then, as you can see, we have a, a decent uh, anti-reflective coating, which provides a nice splash of blue uh, when you are looking directly at some light. So that creates a nice visual impression as well when you're looking at the watch. It is domed, single domed, so if we get it at, at a tight angle, start to get a little bit of distortion. Uh, and um, if we go even further, can see there it does stop being legible but you know you're not going to really be trying to read the time at that kind of angle are you okay so moving on to the rest of the case uh i think this is the apart from the open heart uh window on the dial i think the the design of the case is the next uh, most uh, outstanding thing about this uh, watch I've not really seen a watch, you know, in a similar vein to this case. Um, as you can see, we have this very, almost like aggressive toothed finish around the outside. Yes, it's not going to be to everyone's cup of tea, but I think it's a really, really nice alternative to the, the same old, same old thick barrel kind of shape that we see so often. Um, I really also like the fact that these um, lugs are included inside one of these teeth and uh, you know it's almost like a little slide you can see it it comes in really really nicely really smooth um, bring, talking about the lugs as well interestingly uh, the they're only drilled from one side so you can see here we have holes on this side not drilled on this side and I think that's quite a good idea actually because on the crown side we obviously got the crowns as focus the center of attention and uh, we've ditched the unsightly holes uh, there on either side of the look. So we can still easily remove them, remove the straps, uh, but um, it's nice and uh, good and easy on the eyes. So moving on to the crown then, as you can see, quite a bulbous crown, almost like a, a squashed sphere with the top chopped off. It does make it a little bit difficult to use uh, if you are winding it a lot. Um, but in reality, you know, if you're wearing it regularly, if this is your daily wear, you're unlikely to have to wind it and also unlikely to have to set it very often, especially being that it's as accurate as it is. The crown itself, as you can see, has the Bastion Anthony logo really, really accurately, deeply engraved as well. Again, just like the uh, seconds hand, very, very delicately done and uh, with remarkable accuracy. So very impressed there. Uh, just one final note on the, the entire case. It's fully brushed. Uh, so it obviously will be more resilient to scratches, marks, etc., etc., uh, And it ensures that it is more of a uh, casual daily wear um, rather than a full on dress watch. 
Moving on to the case back. So we have an uh, exhibition case back so we can see the Salita movement nicely. Uh, it's a premier grade as well. So as you can see, we have some really nice purlage on the uh, movement. And we have also a customized uh, rotor with the Bastion Anthony logo engraved sort of on this uh, lower uh, quadrant here. But as you can see, it really does make a difference. That grade of movement really does make a difference to the finish. Really, really nice to look at. Uh, and it's obviously very, very high quality, as you can see with the, the level of detailing and finish. But we'll check that out in further detail with the macro lens. So the case back itself is probably the most uh, normal part of the watch, really. We have a, a brushed, as is, the, as is the case with the entire case. And we have these details, various uh, details engraved around the outside, quite nice and deeply done. Uh, and we have a addition of a serial number over here as well. Moving on to the strap then. So uh, black, you do have the option of a black or a brown strap. This one works, the black strap works really nicely with the anthracite dial. And the, uh, the white stitching is nice and thick, reassuring, uh, very nice and you know, neatly done as well. Creates a nice contrast between uh, the black uh, and the white. And also the black, I think, just uh, really, really uh, complements the, uh, the slight gray color of the dial really well. Very comfortable, um, you know, nothing too uh, exciting really about it, just a, a pretty standard uh, alligator uh, print, uh, but, you know, perfectly reasonable for the price you're paying. And then moving on to the butterfly clasp. So, if I have the Bastion Anthony logo engraved nicely on this top bar. Nice and accurately done as always. Decent uh, buttons on either side to be able to use it. And here we have the inner workings. Again, good, solid construction. There is one thing I need to, uh, to just make a note of, and that is this second keeper loop is a, a tiny bit on the loose side. Uh, I do find sometimes it slips off quite easily. Uh, so very uh, occasionally I have to slip it back on. But really, you know, it's not the end of the world. Uh, and that's just something that I've noticed from wearing the watch uh, regularly. OK, so that's everything covered. Let's have a look at it in much closer detail with the macro lens on. So let's start off with the dial. We'll just change the time. So here's our zero. You can see the textured base of the anthracite dial there as well. There's our open balance wheel and our border you can see. Look at some of these hour markers, our four very nice and shiny, good finishing. Move over here to number eight as well. Let's have a look at our hands. So there's our Bastion Anthony logo on the counterweight of the second hand, so you can see very neat considering the size of it. Interesting sort of like syringe hands as well. Um, we've got to discuss the loom. So the loom is reasonable strength, nothing too uh, outstanding really. Uh, I'll be showing you a loom shop now. So uh, it charges reasonably well. You know, nothing, nothing too out of this world, but it, it does the job. Okay, moving on to the rehout. Again, nothing too really uh, exciting apart from the printed, nice and accurate printed uh, minute track there. So moving on to the case itself. You can see here fully brushed teeth, nice alternating sectors as well. Here's the top, top of our um, lug. You can see a very soft transition down. And on the other side, we don't have that drilled through hole. And then if we move our way around to the crown, there's the Bastion Anthony logo, as you can see, really, really nicely engraved there, considering the size of it, very delicately done. And now if we just flip it over to have a look at the case back. So our details on the case back, serial number there. Some information nice and deeply engraved. And then looking at our 
rotor, you can see Bastian Anthony engraved on the rotor. And here's the other side, the underside of our balance wheel. And we can see our purlage there. Very nicely done on the, let me just move it out of the way, move the rotor out of the way. We can see purlage on our movement there, on our bridge work. Very nice and neatly done on the Salita SW200. Moving on to the strap then. You know, nothing too uh, out of the ordinary, uh, but decent solid stitching. Flip it upside down, we have the band uh, Bastion Anthony logo sort of printed on it. And then moving on to the butterfly clasp, here's the top bit again, really nice engraving there. Attention to detail everywhere is just exceptional. And then finally, just some of the innards of this. Butterfly class there, you can see working nicely. Nice big thick buttons, easy to push. Okay, there we have it. So, um, I personally think this is a really, really great watch for the money. I'm not going to lie, especially with the 10% off voucher WIAA10. £730, perfectly acceptable, reasonable for a fully Swiss made watch, especially from, you know, a smaller independent manufacturer like Bastion Anthony. Really the, the entire, let me just give the crystal a quick wipe. Really the entire construction of the watch is, is top notch. There's very, very little that I've been able to pick up on. Um, in fact, the only negative really is the fact that one of these keeper loops is a little bit loose, but I think that might just be, you know, hopefully that's just a one-off. Um, now the, the main thing about it is the fact that the style is definitely quite unique. So in some ways, in I believe it is certainly um, one of the main positives of the watch. However, for some people, it might not be to their taste. I personally think it looks great. It's so nice to see, and it's refreshing to see something different as well. You know, the casework, very, very unique. Uh, nice, bold design as well. Really like the open uh, balance wheel uh, at 12 as well, the inclusion of a zero. You know, lo lots of subtle little things. And then just the entire construction quality is really good. Close attention to detail. For instance, you know, the, the counterweight on the second hand, the engraving on the crown, the engraving on the um, uh, the top clasp uh, as well. Exceptional build quality. Uh, you know, I can't deny that or whatsoever. You know, there's nothing really I can pick up on at all. Um, so really nice. And, and at the end of the day, it's down to if you like the look of it. Yes, it's on the large side. So that will also put a few people off. However, you know, if you can handle it, and I think if you have over like a seven, seven and a quarter inch wrist, I think you would be able to handle the size. If you, if you dig the design, uh, then I think it's a really, really great watch for the money. So they've done a really good job. Um, you know, fair play to Bastian Anthony for creating something unique, something different. And at the end of the day, you know, it does look smart, but it's also wearable in a casual way as well. So they've created a nice crossover kind of genre there, casual yet smart, you know, thanks to this aggressive sort of edge that it has to it. So uh, very nice watch, the Bastian Anthony Turbulent. And thanks for watching, guys. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and also comment your thoughts on this watch as well. Okay, see you next time.